Notes in NanoCAD create callouts which point out specific parts of drawings. To create a note or a callout, click on the Annotate tab of the ribbon and then head on over to the Leaders panel. Click on the big Mechanical Notes button and then notice the Mechanical Note dialog box. Here's where you type in the text of the note, but also in this upper section you format the arrow and the text. Let me type in a note. So for example, this option places a box around the text. Here are different kinds of arrows at the end of it. Here's the justification of the text, and then here's a few miscellaneous things like inserting a special symbol, retrieving text from a notebook, and matching properties, and so on. Well, let me place this one so you can see what it looks like. So down on the command prompt, it asks me to specify a point on the object. And to make it accurate, I'm going to use endpoint object snap. So I type an END for endpoint. And now I grab this point and place the note where I want it. So the line is called a leader. At the end, there's an arrowhead. The horizontal line is called the landing line and then we have the text on top of it. There are two ways to edit a note. One is to single click it, and then you see a variety of grips that help you edit it. We'll start with the first one, which is this blue square, and that lets you relocate the end of the leader line. The triangle next to it lets you choose different kinds of arrowheads. The plus grip adds leader lines to this note. I've clicked it and I'm now dragging out the leader line to go over there and now we have two of them. This square grip relocates the landing line relative to the leader lines. The circle grip changes the angle of the leader line. This square grip changes the length of the text so you can make it narrower to squeeze into tight locations or spread it out. And then finally this arrow at the far end of the note flips it between two different sides of the leader lines. While you have the note selected, you can come over to the Properties panel and make changes to it as well. So for example, the scale right now is one to one. Uh, you can make it twice as big by choosing one to two or half as big by choosing two to one. If there's more than one text style in the drawing, you can change the style of the text. You can edit the text. For example, if you want to add a special character, click the at symbol and I'm going to add in a plus or minus symbol, which you see now added as a suffix. You can add a second line of text, press enter, and it's added to the bottom. And you can also do things like change the height of the text and the width factor. Another way to edit notes is to double click them. This brings up the mechanical note dialog box, which we saw earlier. And as you make changes to it, the changes are made interactively. So for example, the reason the word check has a box around it was because I had selected that frame option earlier on. When you turn it off, the frame disappears. Similarly, you can change the type of arrowhead interactively. Change the justification of the text and click this button to match the properties of another note that might be elsewhere in this drawing. This adds additional leader lines as we saw with the interactive editing. So I'll click that and there's your second leader line. The prompt keeps repeating so that you can add more and more as you need. When done, press enter and we're back into the dialog box. To subtract a leader line, you'll need to leave the dialog box. Come up here to the ribbon, choose the detach button, and then select the leader you no longer want.